um, I'm going to do is to take off the lid because as you can see the lid is inside the, the canister so I have this tool which is going to help me to take out the lid so sometimes it comes very quickly sometimes I have to try a few times I think it should be fine I heard the little noise yep as you can see okay it's here okay so now as you can see I have the, the changing bag and I am going to to roll the film onto this port then it will be put in, inside the tank with the cover and all of this must be done in darkness so inside the changing room okay so i'm starting to roll the thing onto the spool, the spool. and it's done put back the cover which makes the tank light seal so i'm doing this in the toilet a very tight place especially when you live in hong kong I'm going to prepare the developer You may want to measure uh, more precisely but actually I do that all the time My method to develop film is probably not the most precise but I know what to expect and uh, because because of uh, error and trials I know that yeah this works for me so it may not work for you okay so there's that I stop mixing then I add more water okay that next thing very important I think is uh, to protect your skin protect your hands so yeah I'm using uh, disposable gloves they work okay and they are cheap so. I will need my phone or oh, you just need the clock actually the chronometer During the first 30 seconds, I will spin the, the spool in it where I will do just 5 inversions. So it's about sorry, 10 seconds checking. So 1 minute. And I, as you can see, I tap the bottom of the tank to dislodge any possible hair bubble. it three times so that there's no more developer on the film and the fixer can can last longer so what I do is a uh, 13 version three times so the next thing will be the fixer which I have here and the fixer I think is I recommend it to do it for 6 minutes but this particular one has been used for a few rolls so I'm going to do a bit longer I think like 7 to 8 minutes every 2 minutes I will uh, do 10 inversions so that's 20 seconds every 2 minutes okay
box. I just pour it back in the water and normally you should be giving it to to recycling or yeah. It's gonna start the cleaning session. So for like one minute I will just leave the film uh, cleaning. And after that I just do five five baths with the uh, yeah thirty impression and that's how I do it. And the last step will be uh, to pour some photo flow. So what photo flow I think is called a wet agent. And what it does is to reduce the uh, static electricity and, and the stains on the film. So once you've used that, you, you will have less dust uh, sticking to your film. And it, it really works because I remember my first wall was covered with dust and when I started using this there's barely any dust now so it's it's really useful and I I really recommend it. So now the surprise do we have images on this roll? Uh, yeah it's in that we do. Okay so let's the end of the thing. So as you can see, we do have photos. Okay, so now I'm going to let the rolls dry for at least two hours, actually three Let's hours. See, we do have photos on this roll. Okay, so that's a success, I don't know, but at least we have something. Next step when it's dry will be to scan it. And there are some minor edits that I normally do in, uh, in Lightroom. Next step is to scan the film. Here is the pattern in action. Uh, Software-wise, it's a pain uh, because it works on XP and it's not very stable to to have a, a virtual version of XP on a, another computer, but. It is extremely convenient. It, it scans the film very fast and the, the output is actually very good. This is how I archive my all my film. So by year. So first of first of all the camera, second the lens, the film and the date. Okay, so now I have to rename the file before I'm going to to save them. The next part is going is to import the scans into Lightroom because the Pacon can't actually scan uh, black and white film, but only C41 black and white. So there's a a little bit of tint which I will correct in Lightroom and. Uh, I will include all these photos at the end of the video so you can see them. <laughs>